whenever you're trying to measure your part, like for instance, we've got a part on the screen that's halfway and you want to want to start a new part, just go up to the corner where the M2 symbol is and start new day. You'll see like a sunshine at the end of the non block and You're going to touch that. And it's going to ask you, are you sure you want to delete the uh, data that you've already had? Of course, we're going to say yes because we're going to start a new part. So it's say yes. So now you got a clean screen. I'm going to bring the data over here, so I'm going to touch the screen. And now my data is over there. Now, if you want to recalibrate for your light and dark, there's a symbol at the bottom left-hand corner, and you're going to touch that, and you're going to see an equals at the very bottom of your selection. So you're going to hit that, and it says, okay, place your edge sensor in the lighted area, and then press ready, or next one ready. So we're going to move it over, put it in a lighted area, and we're going to say next on the computer. So next. Okay. And then it says, okay, place the edge sensor in a dark area, and then press next when ready. So we move it over to the dark area, and now we come back over to the computer and we say next. So it says, okay. One more time, place the edge sensor in a lighted area again and press next when ready. So we're going to go back into the lighted area. Say next one more time. Okay, it's, cal it's, it's calibrated now. So now we're ready to measure. All right. In the software, you have you have an opportunity to either manual manual measurement. In other words, you can either tell the computer what you're wanting to measure by if I want to measure a circle, I hit circle. Like for instance, I hit circle, and it says start taking points. So now I just scan across my edge, as you can see. Just kind of take it to the tangent point, okay? And I'm done, so I say done, okay? And there's your circle, okay? Now let's say I didn't want a circle; I wanted a radius, okay? Well. I'm going to delete that off of there because that's not the way I wanted it. I wanted a radius. So now I'll come back down to where the symbol is again. And now if you look, you'll see a circle and you'll see a radius. So if I want a radius, I'm just going to touch radius. And this is measure. So now I can come back up here to the tangent point again and I can start measuring points. Go to the close to the tangent, but don't get into it. Okay, and then come back over to the screen and say done. So there we have a radius now. Now, you're doing that, doesn't matter whether it's a line or whichever. It's like, for instance, I want to measure a line. And I want to, you know, tell it what I want, so I'm going to hit line. So now I come across, and I start measuring points on this line. Take it up close to where the tangent's at. Come back across. There's another point. And now I'm going to say done. Okay. And now there's my line. Okay. Now let's say i got another radius right there. So I'm going to go back down to where the circle is. And now i got circle or radius. And I want a radius, so I'm going to touch it. So now I come back up to the screen. Now I'm going to start measuring points on this radius. Okay, and come back over to the screen and say done. All right, and there's your partial radius. And now again, if you want to measure another line, just go to line. Start off where your line starts off at. Take you a few points. Boom. And if you're, I mean, you can measure more points or whatever you want, but whenever you get done and you're finished measuring a line, just tell it you're done. So there's the other line. Now, with all that being said, you also have the opportunity to where you don't have to touch anything. You can just cross the same point twice, and it'll automatically start taking points for you. Like, for instance, I want to measure this radius. So if I bring the crosshairs down to go across the same spot twice, like so, all right, now it comes up in yellow in the far right-hand corner. It says, okay, I've already taken one point, so continue measuring. So now, on the comparator, what I'll do 
is I'll start scanning points. And whenever I want to stop, what I do is I get in a spot and I'll do a double take again. And it automatically puts my radius up there, tells me my size, my location in the X and Y. Okay, now let's say we want to measure a line. All right. So now I go to this line and I just do a double take to get it started. Okay. And then you can see on the screen it says, okay, I'm measuring again. So I'm going to measure another couple or another point on this line. So come over here. And I'm going to come across this line. I'm going to take that point. And there it is. That was the second point. And now I'm going to come and I'm going to say, go back across that same point again. And it will establish saying I'm done. So now you've got that line. So now, we'll go a little bit faster. I'm going to say a double take on this radius, okay? And you hear it taking points. So now, I can just go across this radius, okay? And if it's places where I want to stop, I'm going to do a double take right there. It finishes my radius out. Also tells me the location and radius size. And now I want to go back and I want to start another line, so I'm going to do a double take, okay? And it took a point. So I'm going to go over here and take another point. So as I do this double take, it's not only taking a point, but it's it's also ending and starting the feature. In this case, double point is going to end. Okay, and your line is finished now. So now I want to go back to the radius again. Do a double take. Okay, so now it's taking points. So now and scan my radius and again you know you, you gotta have a minimum of three points on a radius but you can measure as many points as you want so now we got double take there's your radius finished all right we're gonna do another double take start a line okay got the single point already entered now we're gonna scroll down and you got a little transition right here where two lines are in an angle so I'm gonna stop that tangent point do a little double take, enters in my last point, creates my line, okay, and I'm going to do another line, so I'm just going to move the crosshairs down just a little bit, below that tangent, double take again, okay, I'm going to scroll down, and we'll just stop right here, just double take, okay, so there's that line, as you can see, all right, so now, since I'm here, I might as well just do this circle too. So, you know, we're going to do a double take. Okay, and it's starting to take points. So now, I can just go across the edge, and it automatically takes my points for me. Okay, double take, and it's done. There's your circle. Okay, well, I want to do another line over here, so now I just do a double take. Okay, scroll up where I want to put another point at. You know, it's a little bit of a ways up here. I'm going to get right close to your tangent. And we're going to come over to another double take. Boom, boom. And now you've got this line. Now, you've got the pretty much full peripheral image of your part, but we want to measure some holes now. So now we go up here. We're going to do a double take, okay, and that reaches your point over here, so you see point one. Now we're going to finish taking another points on the circle, so cross, cross, double take, and it's finished and there's that hole. So now, come up to the other hole here at the next to the top, same thing, double take to get you started, cross into the dark and light, dark and light, Double take dark and light, and it's it up, and there's your other hole. There's another hole right here. So we're gonna do a little quick double take right there. Cross, cross, double take. There's that hole. Kind of small. Alright. We got another little hole right here. Uh, just to focus just a little bit. Come over. Do a double take. Cross, cross, double take, okay, there's that hole, okay, and we go up here, here's a big hole right here, okay, and let's just focus just a little bit more, double take to get started, cross, 
across. Double take end. And there's that hole. Okay. Let's see. We got a um, hole right here. All right. Double take. Get started. Cross. Cross. Double take. Okay. Got one right here. I like to measure this. It might be coming in handy here in a few minutes when I'll show you a few other things. Double take. Cross. Cross. Double take. Okay. Now, on the image, you'll see it's pretty much, I mean, there's other holes on there too, but rather than measuring every single hole on this part, this is kind of give you an idea. Now, we want to align the part. Well, you've got an icon down here, and it looks like a little square, and that's where you do your coordinate system. So we're going to touch that, and I want to square it. I want to align it. So the symbol, it looks like a, a cockeyed square. I'm going to touch that because I want to square the part up. Now I'm going to touch the line that I want to use to square it. So I'm going to touch that line, and I'm going to say done. And now it has taken orientated the part straight. It also set my origin in the Y. You ready? So here, if you want to, if you want to use the hole, just come over. You touch the hole, and there it is. You get your X, Y, your diameter. Well, I want to make a zero out of that, so I'm going to touch it. It comes over here. Okay, now I want to zero out in the X. Touch it. I want to zero out in the Y. Touch it. And I want to say done. So now your zero is at the center of the hole. So anything you touch now will give you location in relationship to that coordinate system. If I touch this hole, it says that in relationship to your zero over here, that in the X, that circle is 809 thousandths and two tenths in the X. In the Y, up and down, it's uh, 0.1197, 119 thousandths and seven tenths in the Y up and down. Okay, now let's say you want to know a distance between two elements. So you come down here and you say distance. It looks like a little uh, line with an arrow on each end. You want to touch that, so that's what you want to know. And now you're going to just highlight, like for instance, I want to know the distance between that circle and this circle, and say done. Your straight line distance is 1.0047. Now, the holes in relationship to each other is what is the X and Y representation. In the X, the holes are offset by 534,008 tenths. In the Y, they're offset by 850,008 tenths. And of course, again, the straight line distance is 1 inch, 0 .0047. Now, one thing about this is that I can also touch this and bring the data over. It shows you that hole location and everything. But you also have a remark down there which says center. Okay, well, I want to know what the nearest, you know, for the holes, which is actually an arrow drawn to the inside wall of the holes. Okay, and also I may want to know what the farthest. So I touch again, and now it shows me what my farthest illustration is from, from the holes, from outside to outside. Okay, so now I'm done with that. I just say done. Okay, now let's say you want to measure an angle between two lines. You come down with an illustration where it shows the angle symbol. And you're going to touch that. You say, now I want to pick out my two lines I want to use. Let's say I want to know the angle between this line and this line. And I say, done. That is 171 degrees, 51 minutes, and 19 seconds. Well, all angles have four quadrants to it. So now I'm going to touch this, and I'm going to bring it over to where it's over here now. Now this right here, the 171 uh, degrees, 51 minutes, 19 seconds, is the included angle. Well, I may want to know what the 180 minus is. And you'll see the illustration will show you where the angles are actually coming from. Well, also, I may want to know what the 180 minus is. So it'll show you the illustration, how everything is coming out. And you also have 360 degree minus. And again, it gives you an illustration. So now you have all four quadrants. Say done. Okay, let's say you, you have a bolt hole pattern and you need to know what the diameter is. 
So what you do, in order to know what the diameter, the key word is you want to create a circle. So you go to the circle icon, looks like a circle, and you touch it. And then you touch off the three elements, you know, or however many elements that you want to select. And after you select every one that you want, then you come over here and you say done. Okay, so now it draws out your diameter and also gives you the diameter over here is 443 thousandths and one tenth. Also gives you the X and Y location in regards to your zero point, which is the center of that hole. Okay, now, also, let's say that you want to create tangent points in space, you know, where a tangent point is created by where a line meets a radius, per se. To kind of give you an idea. All right, we want to create a tangent point where this line and this radius meets. So we, the key word is we want to create a point. So we're going to go down and we're going to say point because that's what we want to create. And then we want to use this line, we want to use that radius, and we say done. Okay, there's your tangent point. Good. So if I want to create another point for another tangent point up here on this radius and this line, same radius, I get my tangent point, which I did, point, and touch off on the radius, touch off on that line, and say done. So now I have my two tangent points. Now let's say I want to know what the chord length on the radius is. You know, it's a distance. So I come down here with the icon where you got the arrow, the, the line with the arrow on, on each end. And I'm going to touch that. So that is a distance symbol. And I want to touch the two arrow, two dots. My fingers are a little bit big, so I'm going to come over here and I'm going to touch them on the screen. So I'm going to highlight the two that I want. And I say done. Okay, as you can see, you can see the little flashing uh, line, which gives me that distance. And then over here, it tells you that straight line distance is 199 thousandths and 7 tenths. And then the two symbols, or the two tangent points in relationship to each other, in the X, is 99 thousandths and 4 tenths from each other. And in the Y, up and down, they're 173 thousandths and two tenths from one another. Um, we've pretty much gone over the general information for uh, learning the software. Because everything else kind of works in the same sequence. Um, again, uh, if you've got to know a distance between items, no matter what it is, just go down to distance, touch it, pick up the two points that you're wanting to know, and say done. And there's your straight line distance again, 191 thousandths and one tenth. And again, in relationship to each other in the X and Y. And also, again, if you want, let's say you want to rotate or align by another surface, because you can do orientations anytime during the program. So if we go back down to where the alignments are, and we say, I want to skew, I want to align, so I want to square this up, the picture of the square by another surface. So I touch that. Let's say I want to use this line now. And I say done. So now the image is square by that line. So, but this application can be applied anytime during the uh, program or, or whenever you're measuring a part. And also you can set origins anytime you want. If you want to set an origin, let's say in this circle right here, just touch the circle. Touch the circle again. Touch the circle. Come up here, touch it, pull it over, and say zero in the X. Of course, it's already zeroed in a Y, and you say done. Now your quarter system is back in that hole. So the software is very simple to use um, just by following the procedures what I just showed you. Um, again, and if you have any questions that you feel like you want to talk with me about, you can reach me on my cell phone. I'm John Bishop. I'm the uh, Southeastern Sales Manager. And my cell phone number is area code 615-476-6128. 615-476-6128. I thank you very much.